makes a great leader? Well, first off, uh, I always worry when we use the word leader that we have to define it. Um, we tend to think of leader as boss. You know, if you look at how the word's normally used, oh, the leaders around here. Or the problem with that organization is its leaders. You know, those may be accurate statements, but, you know, what's it mean? Well, it means the people at the top. It actually isn't really what the word means. Uh, the, the verb to lead comes from an Indo-European root, L-E-I-T-H, life, and it literally means to step ahead, to step across the threshold. And if you think about it, you know, the people in our lives who have really influenced us as leaders, they're in all kinds of different roles. Mm -hmm. It could be a teacher, right? It could be a, a, a relative. Uh, and, and so leadership is not about role. That's the most important thing to everybody to understand. Mm -hmm. Management is about role. You know, if you're a manager, you're being paid to be accountable for results produced by others. So management is a perfectly legitimate profession. It's, but leadership is different. Leadership is, you might say, more the spirit that animates good management. Good managers can be really good leaders if they have a sense of purpose and they really care about their people, like I was illustrating with Barbara a minute mm. ago. Um, so um, I think leadership is always about how we create. You know, how generative is an enterprise? That's a really good indicator of the quality of leadership. Are people really passionate about their work? As I said, it's much more about the spirit of things as opposed, you might say, to the to the uh, operations of things. They're both really important. If you want to have a really good organization, you want the operations to work. You want, the, you might say, the machinery to work. You, you want the, the, the pay systems to be fair. You want the performance management review systems to be well thought out. You want to be using the right metrics, not the wrong metrics. All the nuts and bolts of good management. But you also want to be passionate and you want to care about what you do and you want to care about the people with whom you do it. Um, so all of those are, are, you might say, the spirit of the enterprise and leadership is probably the simplest way we have the kind of we all recognize of talking about you know the human contributions to shaping the spirit of an enterprise. Our best definition, the one I've always liked the most of leadership is it's kind of odd one and there's a lot of definitions out there which are I think too individualistic because I think leadership is both very individual and very collective. Mm. It's both. Uh, my favorite definition has always been the capacity of a human community to shape its future. Oh, wow. Because that expresses to me the spirit that really characterizes great leadership. People really believe they can shape their future. And they're passionately engaged in doing things that really matter to them. Mm. 